77 kilogram bike racer climbs a 1400 meter long section of road that has a slope of 4.3 degrees. By how much does his gravitational potential energy change during this climb? All right, so he's going along here, going along here, and then he goes up a hill that is 4.3 degrees. And they say this is 1400 meters. And extend this out a little bit. By how much does his gravitational potential energy change during this climb? So U is gravitational potential energy, and that's equal to mass times gravity times delta Y. So in this one, we're not going to use the 1400 because that's how far he rode, sure, but that's not the change in y. So if we were to put a, over the top of this a y axis, and we'll say that the bottom of the hill here where he is is x, what we're looking for is this distance. We want to know just the change in y that he went up. But hey, look, we have a right triangle right here. So we have hypotenuse is 1400 and the degree is 4.3. So to figure out the opposite angle in relation to the angle, or the opposite side in relation to the angle, we'll use sine. So sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of 4.3, or I guess I'll real quick. So h sine theta is equal to opposite. So h is 1400 meters times sine of 4.3 equals 104.97 meters. So even though he rode 1400 meters, all that he changed with his delta y was 104.97 meters. All right, so now we have everything. So we know that u is equal to the mass of the guy, which is 77 kilograms, times gravity, which of course is 9.8, times his delta y, which we just solved for, is 104.97 meters. And that gives us that gives us 79,210.362 joules, and they want it in um, a better scientific notation. So let's go one, two, three, four. So it's 7.9 times 10 to the positive four joules.